there are some people here in United States and even outside the world who do not want to send their ESN money elsewhere but to the golden account, the account that the golden woman is in charge of, the IPOD women account. That's where they want to send their money. And they said to me, I'm going to send it to the IPOB women account. You send it wherever you want to send it. And that is what is going on. So I'm doing both. But I am going to focus on any fundraising that will help our leader to come out. What is wrong with that? If I say that, what is wrong with that? That is my choice. And I have the right to make that choice, right? Nobody will make it for me. You can come and piggyback on my back to do whatever you like, but if I say, this is what, this is my focus, that's my right. You can force me. Okay. So um, I am also going to go to the point, another point where it says, Madam Bridget, the zoo government is running from pillar to post, trying to find out the code for the ICC filing by Allen Group, Madam Bridget, why are you, like the zoo government, also running pillar to post, <laughs> desperately demanding to be given the code for ICC filing? Story is about to repeat itself. I am sorry. I did not want to bring this outside, but listen, this is my name, right? Madam Bridget, name is on it. Now, Dear friends, let me tell you what happened. I am a very conscientious woman. I make plans. I don't like to waste. That's my nature. Before the group are working with groups, before we set off to um, go to Geneva to file um, with the ICC regarding the extraordinary rendition of our leader. I said, I said to the group, group. I don't I want us to waste money. money. We don't have money. money. Oh, you both has already told me back in July that this talent group have already filed to, um, to the international court. Can we wait and see what they filed instead of we repeating services and then wasting time and money? And they said to me, we cannot live our leader in our language. We have to do something. Then they, they said they gave me an email to send to you. But okay, this is September. If you know that um, the lobbies have filed this um, international list, I'm not a lawyer, I'm not good with this. If you know that they have filed anything, please, we need an evidence. Because we have gone to their, website, to their website, we did not see anything. Not see anything. So we need so an we evidence, need something that will make us pull back, pull back and not file anything. Not file anything. These are very, These responsible, are very responsible individuals individual that love our leader so much. Our leader so much. And I sent the email and out. I the email out. They asked for they the code. Asked for the code. The tracking, number the tracking number and the case number. And the case number. 
I, again, I'm not a lawyer, but I was told, correct me if I'm wrong, once you file any, any complaints to the ICJ or ICC, it's no longer a secret to them. You can keep it as secret as you like. But again, in their website, again, it's, not website it's not a secret. You can assess it. You can it's, assess a public it. it's a public information. information. It's not hidden anymore. Not hidden and again, anymore. Besides, and again that, besides that, if you file it, if you file, you file this complaint, the ICC, the ICC or ICJ will send this same complaint to whichever country or person you file this against. So if it was filed, so it was filed it's, no it's no longer a secret to the Nigerian government. government. So what are we talking about, so what here? Are we talking about here? They have it already. They, they have, have what to try, really just really like the one that and Bruce went, went and filed. Immediately he filed it. He filed it. They sent it to the foreign minister of Nigeria, Nigeria, Nigeria and they sent, Nigeria. sent it to Nigeria. For them to see what we filed, right? So the same thing. So nobody is scrambling around to make it a public. It's supposed to be a public already. So the group wants this information to make sure that something has been filed for our leader. And that was what I asked, dear friends. That was the only thing I asked. I said, please, Ibo, the group just wants an evidence because I don't want I don't us want to waste, waste money. money. I don't want I don't us to want waste us time. Waste I don't want I us to waste. waste. I don't want I it to look ridiculous. Look ridiculous. Um, um, Alan White, Alan is, filing White is filing this way. way. Bruce, Bruce is filing Bruce the other way. way. I don't want that. Want that that is not right. right. That was the reason. And we are still asking. We are still asking for this code number. Tracking number, number and case number. number. Even to tomorrow, we are still asking for it. So you can, so you can scandalize my name as you like. That I'm asking for it. Give it to the zoo. The zoo is supposed to have it already if it was fine. Because it's a complaint against them, right? So I am still asking. The group asked me to come and ask you. Where is the Where evidence is the of evidence what was fast? So I'm still so asking it still to tomorrow. So you can't so shut me up for that. Up. I'm still asking for it. You can say whatever. You can spoil my name as you like. I am still asking for that code. Code whatever was filed. It's a message given to me. Okay. Then another thing is our account. They, they continued just trying to spoil my name. They said, I said, um, after the fundraising, that the money is all the money is not going to the IPOD women account. Listen, every single dime that you contribute goes straight to the IPOB Women Inc. We have our leader approved this account. This is a golden account. Nothing happens to the money in that account. We are very transparent. Every penny is accounted for. And every dime that you contribute goes straight to that account. So today, when you contribute money, it's going directly into that account. When we do fundraising again tomorrow, is going directly into the account, no other account. As long as Bridget Okafo is in charge with the women that I have in that fundraising, all the money that we raise goes into that account. Don't mind all the lies that they are telling you. Don't mind all the lies. You know that even if, I, even if I'm hypnotized, I will not I will not do such a foolish thing. All the money goes into the IPOB women account. Then lastly, let me tell you, the IPOB women, our leader gave us autonomy to function and to notify the leadership with whatever we want to do. And I cannot go outside that specification. Secondly, 
the IPOB women, we are standing our, on our feet, Gidibam. We are not going to and will never align ourselves to any group. We are not going to entangle ourselves with any group. We are standing on ourselves to do whatever we want to do. We don't need anybody to decide for us what we will do. As long as what we are doing is right and within the specification of IPOB, led by Mazen Namdekano, that's what we have to do. We are not aligning with anybody. We are not entangling ourselves with anybody. And that being said, we are now going to have the fundraising to free our leader. And we are appealing to you, please, let's not delay this anymore. Come out and give whatever you can give. Be generous and give the much you can so that we can do this and release our leader. When you come, you are going to see men who have sacrificed. Some group of men in this group who love our leader, the true lover of our leader, they are going to speak to you today and tell you much, the much that they have been doing to encourage us. Having said that, God bless you for listening. I thank you so much. And I'm going to give the mic to our only speaker in the women <laughs> wing, Mrs. Helen Nene Okafo. You have the mic, please. Uh, Madam, uh, Madam Bridget, uh, uh, um, Helen, just hold on, please. Uh, okay. Madam Bridget, before uh, we hand over to uh, Madam Helen, uh -huh. uh, it is uh, very good. It's very good that uh, you address all these things you mentioned here. And uh, but one thing I want to, I want uh, people and probably you as well to understand is that most of the thing you said here, people don't understand it. You know, oh, really? people don't know. It. Yeah, people mm -hmm. don't know. People don't know it. So because uh, most of these things you were saying, the uh, the uh, people of Biafra uh, are not aware and probably so i don't think that this is the right place to do it but you have done it and i just allow you so that it will not uh, look as if uh, uh, you, are, you know in this platform you are treated uh, differently like others so ordinarily uh, those uh, points you raised a lot of people are uh, alienated they don't uh, have knowledge of it it is not necessary here but also oh uh, one thing i will yeah one thing i will uh, one thing i will uh, i don't want to i didn't want to stop you because uh, you know, let it not be that I'm interrupting you as, as it is. Mm -hmm. uh, nobody understands uh, what you have said here. And I think it's something that we should have handled uh, uh, internally. However, the issue of, uh, the issue of uh, um, uh, uh, filing an application or filing a case to the ICC, I think uh, uh, that shouldn't even be a problem because everybody uh, have access and have a right to make inquiry uh, directly to the ICC, especially those working uh, those uh, working group within the ipob they have a um, uh, right uh, as a legal representative or as any representative at all to make inquiry directly to the icc to know whether there is an application pending there it is not uh, supposed to bring a, a problem and then also remember that uh, most of this uh, uh, code that is being given out uh, some people believe that uh, when they give code out something is going to happen and all that so it's not necessarily here to discuss but uh, just to you know, this is one of the things I want to I want to correct that uh, that uh, you know uh, this uh, the issue of uh, verifying whether there is an application in ICC or not is shouldn't be a case at all. Uh, anybody that want to find out can equally contact the ICC. And then also, it is not immediately uh, you file application to ICC, you are going to see it on the website. Most of the applications that are visible. Uh, on website of the ICC, I, I believe, are those that are already uh, started investigating and working on. So it is not just when once they receive application, it doesn't automatically appear on their website that this application has been received. I may be wrong, but I think this is a general knowledge that everybody should know. So the most of the things you said, I'm not going to 
go into addressing them. But if there is need for somebody to come here, because I know that immediately you made this comment, a lot of people, uh, a lot of people will want to come and uh, put the record straight, and this is going to generate a lot of controversy. And I don't want that to happen. So uh, it is not necessarily something that we should have discussed here. Okay, but but this is in the social media, right? This well, was in the social media. It was sent out in the social media. It was already out. Even okay, before well, I know it, somebody, somebody sent it to me and was asking me, do you know about this? I got it from the social media. I said, wow, already? Okay. It's already you know, out, my brother. All right. You know, the social yeah. media is what it is. What it is. You know, so, but <laughs> it was I, if, a, if not, if once it was typed, it was sent out already. So people yeah, know about People are calling me for it. Yeah, I know. If I had known, you are going to discuss it. I would have, you know, I give some advice and see how we can discuss it outside there. But there is nothing, there is not too bad about it anyway. Just, mm -hmm. just an observation. But it's, you see, my brother, it's my name. It's my name on the social media for doing the right thing. Yeah. Thank you very much. It's just an observation. So, Helen, right. we talk about the fundraising. Yeah, we go to, uh, my Madam Helen, you can talk now and then we go to the fundraising. Thank you so much, Brother Simon, for hosting us. Thank you, Madam. Um, I really appreciate your passion uh, for this struggle. I appreciate your way of doing things. Um, you've done a lot of work that people do not know about. You've made a lot of personal sacrifices, both financial and otherwise. Um, I do appreciate all the women in this group. If I may just briefly reinforce what you're saying, this group contains people, both registered IPOB members and non-registered members, because Union do give that instruction, that directive and mandate for you to gather people, gather women. And some of our biggest donors are even non-registered IPOB members, but they are beautiful friends. The title you hold, but the spirit that you bring, the passion, that, the honesty, the love that you bring is what makes a difference. So uh, on that note, uh, Brother Simon, I watched your show, your inter interview yesterday with Bruce, um, the very distinguished attorney, Bruce Pine. Um, if that does not move anyone to understand that work is being done, it is not, not a, a question of holding titles, it is not, not a question of being braggadocious and being a neon. It's what you do the most. Anyone that that is intelligent in intelligence business with people that work in silence. I really would like to appreciate what is being done. And, and I'm coming to you, I'm coming to you from East Coast of the United States, representing the mothers, representing the sisters, representing the wives, representing the aunts. We know where it pinches and we know where it hurts. In fact, the bulk of the work in our continent is done by women. So anyone that excludes women, you are excluding your right hand. If you're condescending to women, it is at your own peril. You know, I always fall back to my people. We have these old adages that are filled with wisdom. What does that mean? Acknowledge a woman. Praise the woman for her effort. She will astonish you because she is a woman. So I am begging you, my brothers, my sisters, lovers of freedom, Biafrans, non Biafrans, you can see the work that Bruce is doing to make sure that Onyendu is out. He is putting this abuse of the Nigerian government on the international stage, just like we're doing. But he has contacts. He goes places that we may not be able to go, talking to people, reaching to people that matter. He was in Nigeria for 10 days, a man that was neither born there nor was raised there. I could just see that he was flushed. Even the heat alone could get set anyone driving out of that country. But he stayed and he went back to do some more work. He is persistent. He is compassionate. He's not playing games. I had the money wrong where 
please, my brothers and sisters, be generous, be compassionate. Soon as Onyendu comes out, some of these things that you see going on, they will all write themselves. That is, that is the major issue at hand right now, besides supporting our volunteers who are defending the forest of Biafra land from incursion, from intrusion by foreigners. Please, I am begging you, you are seeing the results. This man is going to the state of Israel, powerful nations. He'll be going to Athens. He is already filing in Geneva. He is speaking. He is suing them here in the United States. Do you know what he's making, what he's doing? He is making them uncomfortable. They cannot sit well and sit pretty and operate with impunity. He is bringing their impunity to the world. He needs to be supported. He doesn't work for free. He also has issues, problems, just like everyone else. He has to pay his bills. But our people say, Aka wete, Aka wete, Afueju. Please come and join us and God bless you. As far as the accountability of this group, after people donate, you know, we spend hours, 12 hours and more, reconciling who has pledged. We call them, they can attest to this. Every penny is accounted for. Even when Onyendu is out, sometimes we give him directly because it's a wing and a nod, just like a, um, you know, a communication between people that are close. We know something is going on at home. We know our people are under attack and he needs to send something quickly. We simply nod and go on air. Anyone that is versed with the military or even have a little idea, you know that you have your army, but then you have your special group that can mobilize, they're small, they're nimble, like your special forces. That is really what we are. We can get on the air and start raising money when we need it. Onyendu is very clever. He knows what he's doing. Respect and support this group. We will astonish you. God bless you all, brothers and sisters, and I will see you in the fundraising. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sis. Thank you.